Jamaica's Kemba Nelson shot with 10.90. How much faster can she run? On June 12th, 2021, at the world-famous Hayward Field in Eugene, Oregon, Jamaica's Kemba Nelson, formerly of Mounted Vernier High, ran an astounding wind-aided 10.90. The time was so fast, it turned the attention of the entire track world towards young 21-year-old Kimba Nelson. Getting her world-famous bullet start, Nelson, as you can see in these stills, was ahead almost instantaneously. Within the first two to three steps out of the block, she had already dominated the entire field and proceeded within the first 20 meters to establish herself as the clear leader in this short sprint. By the time she hit 50 meters in, she was a clear, easy three to four, in fact, five meters ahead of the entire field. And by the time she was up in her top end speed, she was a clear five to six meters, as you can see in these stills, ahead of the entire field. The astounded time of 10.90, however, was wind aided with a plus 2.2 win and therefore could not be considered a legal run. But still, 10.90, wind aided or not, was a truly impressive feat. The time of 10.90, although wind aided, confirmed to us that her PB, which she had set the month before, on the 29th of May at the Cushing Stadium in Texas, had not been a fluke. She had run a very impressive 10.98, and, with her famous bullet start, was again ahead of the entire field within the first 20 meters. In fact, by her dry phase, she was a clear meter to a meter and a half ahead of the entire team. Young Kimba Nelson was establishing on a global level in the collegiate scene that she was a force to be reckoned with. And this, for me, was a very impressive run. As you can see from the stills, within 50 meters, she was again a clear three, four meters ahead of the entire field and ran a perfect race, dominating the entire way. The 10.98 was a very impressive mark. Kemba Nelson had accepted a scholarship offer from the University of Oregon becoming the first Jamaican-bred and born female athlete to run for the esteemed institution. In doing so, she had left UTEC to take up the offer. 2019 National Junior Dub Champion ruffled a few feathers when she left UTEC after three years to become a duck. People I couldn't resist that one. Get it? Duck, you feathers, anyway. Persons who attend the University of Oregon reference themselves as ducks, just to be clear. On March 14th, 2021, Kemba Nelson broke the collegiate record, beating the clear favorite T.T. Terry in astounding time, an astounding time of 7.05. This is the race you're looking at in terms of stills. She was dominant again in this race and she truly sent shockwaves throughout the entire collegiate scene. Throwing down her gauntlet and stating clearly, Kimba Nelson from Jamaica there, and we intend to dominate. 7.05 in a 60 meter sprint was a truly impressive time, considering that prior to that her fastest time recorded had been 7.19. Kimba Nelson was clearly a force to be reckoned with. And given her bullet start, we know that she gets out of the blocks really, really fast. But then we saw her run in the finals against Shelly and Fraser Price, Elaine Tom Sahara, Sharika Jackson, Natasha Morrison, and of course, Brianna Williams. And although she had impressed in the heats and in the semis, she did not fare as well 
as some of us had hoped. She did not get her traditional bullet start. Most of us remembered how Shelley and Fraser Price dominated this race, and that in the end it was Shelley and Fraser Price, Elaine Thompson Hera, Sharika Jackson, and of course young Brianna Williams, who, who eventually went through to represent Jamaica in the women's sprints at the now past Tokyo 2020 Olympics. But what went wrong in this race with Kimber Nelson? Clearly, with times such as we had established prior to this, I mean, a collegiate, collegiate record in the 60 meters of 7.05. Uh, wind aided 10.90 in the 100 meters outdoors and a PB of 10.98 in the 100 meters. What went wrong in this race? It's evident to me that Kimba Nelson is fast. Let me say this again. It's kind of very obvious that she gets out of the blocks, she's dominant, and she is fast. Now at 21, I know some of you are going to be saying to me, well, you know, hey, uh, she should be running uh, faster times. But the truth is, those are extremely impressive times. And that's why when she ran the 10.90, although we needed, she caught the attention of the entire track world. 10.90 at 21 is seriously fast running. I want you all to understand this. And of course, if you can establish a 7.05 in a 60 meter sprint, breaking the collegiate record, beating TT Terry, who is a huge talent on the collegiate circuit in North America, it means that you certainly have the sprint speed. And looking at the mechanics of her races, we realize that she's able to dominate now, at this point, we get into the realm of speculation. Clearly, in 2019, she had been the double junior champion in Jamaica. Clearly, since getting to the University of Oregon, becoming a duck, she has established herself as one to watch on the collegiate scene. So, and also, let's be honest, she was running in a race against what could have been essentially the finals of the 100 meters women at the Olympics. She was running against the best of the best of the best of the best, making it into the top three in Jamaica in 100 meter. Women is an exceedingly difficult task. But looking at her development over these years, the improvement in speeds, the fact that she gets out of the blocks with that Shelly and Fraser type bullet start, her technique, her dominance, I think the only thing missing from her sprint is maybe stamina. It could be that the collegiate scene, which takes some time, it's very, very long. That's what I mean. The collegiate scene in America is very long. And maybe this is why she faded at the national trials. But do I think she can run faster? Yes. If you move your PB in a 60 meter from 7.19 to 7.05, breaking the collegiate record, and if you're able to improve your 100 meters, all this was wind aided from 10.98 a PB one month before to 10.90, I am really certain that young Kimba Nelson can run fast. And I mean really, really fast. So based on these stats, her immense improvements within a very short period of time, her solid technique, I think the only thing we'd need to do with young Kimba Nelson is have her run many 400 meters, many 400 meters to build up her stamina and her strength. Jamaica's Kimber Nelson shocked the world with 9.90. Can she run faster? I am certain she will shock us again and again and run even faster. I would love to hear your thoughts on this. And as always, bless up! <laughs>